EA did something good. I never imagined I'd one day get the chance to say that. It's sad that I can say that about a company that was once founded on the love of video games. Anyway, they inked a deal with Valve to release some of their games on Steam. Let's discuss. I never liked Origin, and I know a lot of people who don't either. EA launched it in 2011 as a competitor to Steam. They did it for the same reason the Epic Store exists. Valve takes a 30% cut of sales, which can be pretty steep. However, EA never took the time to improve Origin. Feature-wise, Steam is far superior to almost every way. Like the Epic Store and even Uplay, Origin is very primitive in comparison. Sure, moving to their own platform meant they could keep more of their revenue, but it came at a cost, and that cost was audience numbers. Of course, the Battlefield fanboys will go anywhere EA does, but the company lost a sizable audience and never got those numbers back. EA just never invested the money and time to really build Origin to a platform that could match Steam feature for feature. They never made Origin a more compelling offering. Yes, they improved Origin over time, but it was never enough to draw people away from Steam. Nor did they do what Epic Games is doing to attract other studios to the platform. I always got the impression that EA was just treating Origin as an afterthought. Maybe at the time they thought console gaming would surpass PC gaming. So they moved to their own platform to get the most revenue they could. But that never happened. PC gaming came out on top and stayed on top consistently for years. Despite competition from CD Projekt Red's Good Old Games, Direct to Drive, and many others, Valve was able to build the launcher for Half-Life 2 into a video game distribution juggernaut that dwarfs both the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. Steam is a PC game store and launcher. It is also a social network, streaming platform, cloud gaming platform, VoIP client, sharing platform for user-created content, and music player. Don't forget, it is also the most popular platform for VR, and Steam also offers productivity software that can be used to make games. The lead they have over everyone else, including the Epic Store, is astronomical. The deal between EA and Valve brings Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Battlefield V, Unravel 2, and the EA Access subscription service to Steam. Unfortunately, EA's back catalog of games won't be offered on Steam directly. They will come instead through their EA Access service. But offering it on Steam at all is at least a step in the right direction. They will get more subscribers than they otherwise would never have gotten before. It should be noted that EA Access is different from Origin Access, and that EA isn't shutting down Origin. Yet. Also, now get this, in addition to bringing their games to Steam, EA is seeking forgiveness from Battlefield fans. If you remember, they brought political correctness and woke culture into Battlefield V. They are an ideology that seeks to make women more masculine, men more feminine, dehumanize white people, and strips women of everything that makes them truly special. It is a toxic ideology that has no place in any society, let alone civilized society. And EA has paid a steep price for this. Battlefield 5 sales are tanking. The trailer for the latest Battlefield 5 DLC, War in the Pacific, is devoid of woke symbolism. In fact, it harkens back to the days when World War II games were all the rage. It remains to be seen if EA will continue to reject wokeness for sanity in future games. Either way, this is a step in the right direction. It doesn't redeem EA for past misdeeds, especially when it comes to their in-game monetization strategies. In fact, it is likely they aren't doing this out of a desire to do good at all, but purely out of financial necessity.
It means if we hit them in the bank account when they do bad things, they will make a change. Money seems to be the only language they understand. So be it. We control the wallets, thus we hold the ultimate power. They cannot make us buy what we don't want. This is the lesson they are learning. Anyway, that's all for now. I've been Mike the Zorch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Namaste. This and other videos can be found on our alternate channels on LBRY and BitChute. Links are in the description below.